guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the ColourPop X Kathleen the Zodiac Collection. I got the full collection here. I was going to get the PR package, but that was like $10, $11 more for just a box. I was like, that's not worth it for me. I can still get the all of the items for a much cheaper price. So I got all of the items. Let's start off with the palette. Let's go ahead and talk about that. I haven't actually opened all of these. So this... If you have all seen her video or like her introducing her collection, um, you all know pretty much about the packaging and how everything what everything stands for. I will link her video down below. This whole collection is obviously about zodiac signs. I'm a Capricorn. I'm not really into that stuff. I don't really believe that stuff. I feel like you just have the personality that you have. Um, I just know that I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> and so the packaging is black and the actual palette is blue. So this is what the palette look like. I will also insert swatches of everything. So I was actually going to insert swatches of the palette, but honestly, I feel like at this point, I don't think swatches on the arm are really going to show how eyeshadows will perform on the lid. So I'm just going to do the eye makeup and you all can go and decide from there because you're not really just sliding a matte shadow on your eyelid. You're actually blending it out and that's what really matters. So I haven't actually swatched anything, but this is what it looks like. Off the bat, when I first saw it, it was a bit like, uh, what am I going to do with all of these colors? Um, I'm not the best with eyeshadow. I really just like neutrals. Like, that's what I go for. But today, I'm going to try and include some other colors besides just the browns. So the next two items are the Supernova eyeshadows, and they come in the blue packaging. And the packaging on these are super, super cute. They have like the silver like lids and then the clear casing as well like a rose gold kind of like decorations or design on it with like a few stars. So this like champagne-y pinky kind of color is called Constellation, which I'm really excited about this color. And then this like greeny baby pukey <laughs> dookie color. <laughs> Or yellow. I think this is yellow is called astrology and This is these two colors So the next two items are the Lux lipsticks which they're they have like that rose gold kind of like Packaging which I actually really really love the packaging. These are my first color pop lipsticks So I'm really excited about the formula and everything and they have the stars all around them Which is really cute, but I actually think they already have like a rose gold kind of packaging except like they have like indents in them and stuff like that so this darker one right here is called scorpio moon and it's a very pretty color it's like a i don't even know like almost like a bit in it's like in the berry family it's really cute, like a berry nude and it ha all, both lipsticks have like stars indented in them and this more nudie shade over here is called what's your sign you know what's weird is that down here i don't even know if you can tell but what's your sign actually has like a sticker and then scorpio moon has like a clear name tag like on the super shock um the supernova eyeshadows which is really weird um i don't know what's going on there but these are really cute i'm really excited about them the last two items are the super shock highlighters and they also have that whole like astrology kind of theme outside. All of the, obviously all of them are gonna have that theme on the outside, but this uh, packaging is black just like the eyeshadow palette, and the actual like component that it comes in is blue just like the eyeshadow palette. So this one right here is called On the Cusp, which, which I hear is like her favorite one, and it's for like probably light to medium skin tones. I'm actually excited about that because that looks like it could be a really pretty like all over eyeshadow kind of thing. And then this one is called Fire, which is supposedly for more medium to probably deep skin tones. I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop and I have a few of their Supernova eyeshadows, which I actually compared them to the Stila Magnificent Metals um, eyeshadows, which I will link in the corner, whichever one. Um, I really show you which ones I like. So... I kind of already have my opinion on the formula and stuff like that. And for foundation, I'm going to go in with 
the ColourPop, what is it called? No Filter Foundation. Um, I actually have tried this a couple of times. I have my mixed reviews about this. Oh, sorry, and this is in the shade Medium Dark 115. You know what's on my mind. I've been living dangerous. You can be my angel, though I we concealer i'm gonna go in with this estee lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer in the shade 3w medium warm do one holy you always save me i release your tension body is my passion all we need is us you say no more secrets i've been running from my troubles they still follow me she did talk about that it is best to use these highlights like on wet skin so I'm gonna go in with fire and use my finger and I'm just gonna dab this on can you see that I feel like my entire face is bright I do like that it doesn't look like powder on my skin and then at the same time maybe I shouldn't have used like an illuminizer kind of primer because in a way we probably wouldn't be able to tell so I'm actually thinking of saving those so I can put it on after I finish setting my face and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the eyeshadow look because I don't want to be here for 20 years and wasting your time when you really just came for dish I'm gonna go in with the Sagittarius and which one is this one the Aquarius and probably use a bit of the Capricorn, you know, since I'm a Capricorn. I'm actually going to grab this fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the Taurus. Oh, oh, this is very powdery. I just really just dipped in there like this and it's like, pfft. so I'm going to go in this and I'm actually going to use the mirror that it came with. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and just put that in my crease. Barely sleeping, I keep reminiscing, memories and I'm gonna go back into the Sagittarius with a Morphe M433 and I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm honestly the first person to defend Kathleen and whatever and support her in all of her collab. But this shade was very patchy, not pigmented, honestly. It didn't blend as easily as Taurus does. This shade is not up to par and I'm pretty disappointed in this shade. So now I'm gonna grab this um elf eyeshadow c brush and it's like a flat shader brush like this and i'm gonna pick up the aquarius and i'm gonna pack that on the outer corner focus on the mission Grab that Morphe M433 that we were using for the Sagittarius. Show me eternity. You've been lost and I feel cautious. So now I'm just taking the shade the Capricorn and putting that on the outer corner to help darken it up. So now I'm going to grab a concealer and just cut my crease so that it's ready to put on the metallic shade next. I go often, you've been lost and I feel cursed. Now I'm going to grab the Constellation Supernova eyeshadow and put that where I cut the crease and where the concealer is. So I grabbed a dense brush and started to try to pick at it and blend it into the shadow. But then that didn't work so I tried to grab the Aquarius shade and use a more fluffier brush to help blend it out further. So this is what I have. I was blending over here on this edge and it literally took off all of the glitter that was on there. I don't know if you can tell. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop right here because I really, really am a big Kathleen Light supporter. Um, I just don't think that these shades are up to par, if I'm being honest. Um, unless I'm doing something wrong, probably I wouldn't doubt it. But if you can't, like, it's not even about me blending it because I'm blending it and it's like patchy. So, and as you can see, like, they're not building up easily like you have to really dig in there and by the time you're like done digging in there you're gonna have like no more eyeshadow in your palette anymore um so and i actually don't really enjoy the formula of these i feel it on my lid it feels heavy 
um, they flake off easily and now I'm gonna go in with what's your sign <music> take Scorpio moon which I think actually would go really pretty with this look right here I really would recreate like do it on the other side but I don't like the way these shadows are performing I am NOT a really big fan of the supernova eyeshadow so um that's that so anyways guys I know I kind of half-assed it but to be honest I'm pretty disappointed um, if you want to get it, get it. You could probably work with these things better than I can. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> okay, so I just finished up the other eye. Um, I actually really enjoy the Sagittarius. I think that's a beautiful purple shade. Um, I just think that it does take a lot of building up in order to get to that really purple shade. I honestly don't really enjoy the formula of the supernova eyeshadows. Um, I don't really like it. I try to take off a uh, Scorpio Moon and it completely stained my lips. Like the shade isn't even this bright and it stained my lips really bright. So that sucks. But um, this is pretty much it guys. I mean, what can I do about this? Overall. The eyeshadow, I think that the other shades besides this blue are great. The black, I feel like it's black enough to really work with it. Um, the the brown, the Taurus, I actually really enjoy this shade. I don't know about the other ones because I haven't used them. So, I mean, what can I do about that? So, I, I honestly, I'm going to say... For me personally, I probably would pass up on the palette because if I'm only going to use really one shade out of this palette, maybe even the Libra, I might even use that one, but I'm probably just going to use the Taurus out of this one. I honestly think her Dream Street palette is way better than this one. The lipsticks, love the lipsticks. I think they're both beautiful. The highlights, I really, really enjoy them. I'd actually reuse those. The Supernova shadows, I mean, I honestly don't really enjoy the formula. I prefer the Stila eyeshadow ones. Um, this is a very, very beautiful color, as you can see, against that purple shade. It looks beautiful. I think this shade will is really, really, the shade is beautiful. The formula, I'm not a big fan of, so that's what's really making me go, I don't think, I'll, I don't think I'd really ever use it, probably. I think I would. I just don't think I'd pick this one up over the Stila eyeshadows. I hope you enjoyed this little video, this review of the Kathleen the Zodiac collection. It's really up to you to make your decision. I am a really hardcore Kathleen Likes fan. Um, this is like the only one of her products that really did not impress me if I'm being honest. Just the eyeshadow palette. Um, that's about it. Um, so yeah, guys, just take this with a grain of salt. You make your own conclusions, watch more reviews and everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> you know what's on my mind. I've been living dangerous. You